It is currently 12 p.m. on a Friday. I am working from home today. Welcome to a week in the life of a natural bodybuilder slash corporate. I should probably put corporate worker first, actually. Welcome to a corporate worker slash natural bodybuilder. I am making lunch currently, so I will show you what I make for lunch. I've just had some food whilst doing some work on the work laptop on my uh, currently out for a quick afternoon walk. I'm going to get myself a hot chocolate. I'm going to walk for a little bit because steps nowadays is my cardio as I'm bulking and it is good for digestion considering I'm eating a lot and also it is good for the heart. So yes, beautiful day for an afternoon walk. Hi, can I have a hot chocolate, please? Thank you. I'm now on the way to the gym. Having a pre-workout snack. I'm meeting up with Chris for leg day. Friday is always leg day for me. I like to start the week off with legs, the one I want to skip the most. Come on, one more. Come on. One more. Push. One. Yeah. Up. Push, 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 finish, finish, finish. That's a PB. That's a PB. Come on. Yep, yep. Okay, so I am now back home from leg day. Just gonna make myself some dinner. Um, I didn't have time, unfortunately, earlier to make a portion of rice. So I'm gonna have microwavable rice. However, instead of the I'm not going to say bad, but let's say suboptimal in terms of taste. Uh, microwavable pouch rice. I have these these VT jasmine, Thai jasmine rice. So they're better because when they come out of the microwave, they're sticky rice. So it, it's more like Asian rice, the Asian sticky white rice that you get. So I prefer them and luckily I have them. So I'm going to have three of those because I'm on bulk. Um, and then on top of that, I have a steak I have a steak for dinner so and then I'm gonna have some veg I'm just probably just gonna have corn again because again I didn't have enough time to make veg so yeah pretty simple meal but staple salt bay I'm supposed to use Himalayan salt actually um, because I had some uh, an ab cramp earlier during leg day um, and I should be using Himalayan salt because um, that helps prevent cramps. The next morning.
it's not my dog, but <laughs> oh, smile for the camera. That tongue's a little bit sus to be fair. <laughs> Saturday morning, full day. Now I know that we also, I also go to the gym like roughly 12 hours ago or like 12 hours, 15 hours ago. Uh, Friday night leg day and then I'm now back on Saturday morning but whenever I go to gym Saturday or Sunday weekends are kind of my non-negotiables and the morning is really when I can kind of get my session in and still have the rest of the day for say friends a relationship or just any kind of chores so that's why I like to go to gym in the um, mornings and get back before lunch Today is a pool day on Saturday. I am breathing heavily because I've already done two bar rows and a set on this lap pull down. So that's why I'm breathing so heavily. Oh, and Chris is behind the camera. Say hi, Chris. Show your face. Show your face. <laughs> My glasses fog up whenever I do a hard set as heat emanates from my face. Um, but yeah, after every set, pretty much I go blind for like, well, technically I'm already blind because I've got bad eyesight, but I get even more blind. I get blinder with the fog. I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but yeah, it's weird. But yeah, as if my eyesight's not bad enough, the glasses kind of fog it up even more. After gym, Nando's, four boneless chicken thighs, peri salted chips, and mash. Double carbs because I'm on a bulk. Standard, uh, extra hot, extra hot, extra hot, extra hot, extra hot, extra hot. Um, I drizzled it in extra hot sauce as well. So yeah, standard, but yeah. And now we eat. Jerk it more, lubricate it, spit on it. After my Sunday morning gym sesh, I have lunch. Now when it comes to meals, my view is very much if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I know, you know, when you're on a bulk and you're eating a lot of calories, 
Digestion becomes an issue. There are certain foods that digest better for you than others. Obviously, some of them in university just digest better. For example, white rice, so that's why it's always a staple. Now, I'm having steak. And some of you might go, oh, you've had, you had it for like the other day as well. I think it was yesterday I might have had it. Like, you, oh, you had it on Saturday as well, um, yesterday as well. Um, you're having it. Do you not get bored of the same thing? If it's not broke, don't fix it. I know it tastes nice. It sits well with me. It's great macros, good red meat. Um, and rice, as you can see, I'm Asian. So I grew up eating rice. I have absolutely no problem having rice every single meal. I mean, I had rice every single meal growing up. So for me, that's completely fine. I'm used to it. I've done it for like 15, 16 years before I came over to the UK. Um, and I still do it, you know, when I visit home. So that's completely fine. And it's easy to digest as well, white rice. Oh, and obviously veg again, corn, because I'm lazy. Oh, boo-hoo, sue me. If I'm not lazy, normally I make broccoli and get a little bit of hoisin sauce on the broccoli as it's frying as well. That absolutely bangs for anyone you want to try. But also the reality is when you have a corporate nine to five job and you're a bodybuilder and you also upload on social media, you know, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatnot, you don't actually have that much time left. Now you say, oh, um, it's a pretty sad life, isn't it? But I enjoy going to the gym and bodybuilding. I enjoy um, uploading content. And in life, you just got to do what you enjoy, really, doesn't it? So macro wise, everything is hit, like the minimum, so 620, 220, and 120. Yeah. yeah. Obviously your numbers will be a very strong for that ball. Um and we do not want to get you injured. Eight hours later. Okay, so I'm back home from work now. It is currently, I think, around quarter to seven. Going to be meal prepping my dinners tonight. So normally what I do, as you've seen earlier in this video, is that I meal prep my lunch on a Sunday evening and I meal prep my dinner on a Monday evening, so I spread it out. Um, but before my meal prep, I need to eat to get my calories in for the day. Triple chocolate muffins, easy, no prep needed. You see me heating up a pan here because my dinner is gonna be fried rice. The best fried rice you will ever have, I promise you. Mince, we have 12% fat because I am fat at the moment and I am bulking and this has more calories. So yeah, to go with the fried rice, we have some king prawns seafood i think they're quite rich in like omega shit um so should be quite good for you 
for the other ingredient, we have some seafood sticks. Again, I just like the taste of it with the rice. Eggs. Every time I make rice in a rice cooker, I make two portions. So let me show you what it looks like. Just like a Chinese takeaway. the gap between the train and the platform. So I'm on my way home at the moment. It's currently lunchtime. There's a few reasons why I like to work in the office in the mornings and home in the afternoon. First of all, I can get my steps up because basically I get steps through going to the office, coming back home, going from home to the gym and going from the gym back. So that's four trips. Um, and steps are quite important for me at the moment, both in terms of cardio, but also digestion, because I'm on a lot of calories. Another reason is because I don't wanna, I don't like bringing my gym stuff into the office because it's an extra bag and it's quite heavy. Like I have to bring a set of clothes, but not only that, all my lifting gear as well. You have like your straps, wraps, knee sleeves, belt, and the belt is quite heavy as well. And then also, another thing is I like a change of scenery throughout the day. So morning, office, afternoon, um, at home. I'm a bit more productive. Probably not a big difference, but I am slightly more productive and I do change scenery. It is currently roughly, I think just after 6 p.m. This week is a deload week. So what that means is we kind of dial it back, dial the training back, the volume. Um, I mean, there's a few ways to do deload weeks. You can dial the volume back, you can dial the weight back, you can dial the intensity back. How my coach has told me to do it is to dial the volume back slightly, so that's what I'll be doing. The reason to take deloads is kind of basically, I'm never a big proponent of scheduling deloads. I think deloads should be take it's in a bodybuilding context, anyways. Um, I understand power powerlifting; you have different lifting blocks, and it would make sense for you, you know, to max out, take a deload week, let it recover, and whatnot. But I guess in a bodybuilding sense, I think you should always take deload week as and when you need it. So. How I decide that I need to take deload weeks is basically listening to my body. A um, few telltale signs is, you know, if mentally you're fatigued, so every time you go to the gym, you find yourself mentally, you're not there, you can't push hard. Not, not that you, your muscle fails, but more so mentally, you can't push past that barrier to go to failure, for example. That might mean that you're mentally you're quite fatigued and so you need a slight break. Another one is CNS, so kind of listening to your central nervous system. Kind of similar, basically, if your CNS is fatigued, every single exercise drains your CNS. So the ones that are more taxing for the whole body, for example, squats, will be more taxing on your central nervous system than a set of bicep curls, for example. So if you don't feel like your CNS is fresh, then deload week. Um, and also, if just basically, in my case, my muscles just aren't recovering quickly enough. So especially the hamstrings, which were the kind of first kind of onset of symptoms. So that's why I've decided to take a deload week. Um, when you're a corporate worker like me, a lot of factors go into taking a deload week. Um, I'm not gonna do an exhaustive list. If you want, I'll do another video on it, but I'm worried I'm making Chris hold the camera for way too long. Um, but just to name a couple uh, as like a teaser. Um, naughty, naughty, you teasing me? Um, uh, sleep, for example, sleep would be one of, sleep and stress would be one of, I think, two of the biggest factors that affect whether you de need a deload or, uh, de -node or not as a corporate worker. Sleep it affects a lot of the recovery. That's where most of recovery happens. And obviously, you destroy your muscles in the gym, you need to recover. So if you're sleeping less, you might need deloads more frequently. Um, oh, food as well, but I'll mention that another time. And also stress. Just the more stressed you are, the harder it is for your body to recover. Um, and obviously, the more you eat, the easier you recover. Those are many things, right? You're a corporate worker. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways. Do Bevo. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Dom, 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 dom. Is that on me? Yeah. <laughs> Bevo now. I've not got any food. The next. <laughs> the next morning. It is early in the morning before work. Woke up at about, I think, around half five, quarter to six. I think my alarm was set as half. My alarm was set as half five, but I woke up at quarter to six. Deload week, so I was going to get my workout in during lunch, but I forgot I put a meeting in with my manager during lunch, so I got to go before work. Normally, I try to not go in the morning because my force output isn't really there. However, I have something going on after work. I'm going to see my osteopath to get my knots and stuff worked on. I would like to put a disclaimer out there. Not normally as someone who wakes up really early and goes to the gym before work. Have I done it before? Yes. I don't normally do this, but what I always do is to find ways to fit a workout in no matter what. And if waking up at half five is what is necessary, I am partial to waking up at ungodly hours um, to get a workout in. I'm not going to go to my usual muscle works because I need to get the tube to get to that one, to get to that gym. I'm gonna go to one that's more local to me, walking distance, save a bit of time, especially because I'll be in a little bit of rush to get back to work. 